I'm Jenny and welcome back to my channel. Today is all about pie crust. I am going to show you how I make my pie crust and how I change it up for a savory dish. Let me show you how I make it. Okay, so basic pie crust. I have got two cups of all-purpose flour in here and I'm gonna put some salt in. Normally it's only a half a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of granulated sugar if you're gonna do um, a pie with a sweet filling, just a regular pie. I'm gonna do a savory pie today. So we are actually gonna put in one tablespoon of, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of salt, just regular old table salt. So I'll put that in first. Just get it stirred around a little bit. And then I'm gonna put in three fourths a cup of chilled shortening. Now this is vegetable shortening. I normally like to use an animal fat shortening, um, but all of a sudden my stores aren't carrying that. They're only carrying vegetable shortening or lard. I'm gonna cut this in. You can actually order leaf lard, which is a higher grade of animal fat lard um, from Amazon. Amazon has it. I don't know, you know, maybe some grocers carry it. Maybe yours does. Mine doesn't. You would think that they would though. I mean, Phoenix is a big city. <laughs> if someplace has it, I don't know where. But that would be the best thing to use. But vegetable shortening is just fine. Now I have tried this with butter. I don't think that it turns out as good. I think really shortening does the best job with giving you that flaky, crunchy, pie crust. So I'm just cutting this in until they look like pea size pieces with the shortening in the flour. Okay. Alright. So this is kind of what you're looking for. Everything mixed in really well. Now, next thing I am going to do is crack one egg into this cup. And I'm also gonna put one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in here. and mix this up. Now I did get this pie crust recipe from my mom. I'm going to pour this right into my bowl. Over there. And then I need some cold water. I've had ice sitting in this water. It's melting already. And they always say, you know, three to four tablespoons, but I like my dough a little bit more wet. It's a little bit more. I think a wet dough um, holds together better. You know, when, when you start to roll out your pastry and it starts cracking everywhere, I don't like that harder to come together. I'm going to put a little bit more. Seems like a lot, but okay. That is good. It's just now starting to come together. I don't like to over stir. You don't want to overwork your pie crust. So I am going to take a piece of plastic wrap. If I can get it out of here. just going to push it together. This is how I get it together without overworking the dough. 
Oh, my plastic wrap bent. <laughs> All right. Well, it wouldn't be a regular day if I didn't make a huge mess in the kitchen while I was cooking, so. Okay, now that it's in my plastic wrap, I'm going to press it into a disc. And I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator and it's gonna rest for 30 minutes before we use it. The second pie crust, since I have already my big mess here, um, same recipe, I've got my two cups of all-purpose flour in the bowl here. Um, we are gonna make this one really savory and this crust is gonna be more like a, um, what do you call those? Like a southern cheese straw. I love those and I kind of make this crust taste like that. So whatever you put in it that's savory is even more yummy. So my two cups of flour, I'm first going to add my teaspoon of salt. And I have onion powder. I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder in here. Actually, I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of onion powder in here. I'm going to put one quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper in there. And a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, so those are all the spices that I'm gonna put in there. I am just going to stir this up. Now, a lot of times when I make this, I change it up. When I do homemade pot pies, I actually put fresh thyme in the crust. I um, take it off the stem and chop it just a little bit and put it in here. So that's something I like with that pot pie flavor. Today I'm making a completely different pie and I want to have this plain southern cheese straw style crust. <laughs> That is all stirred up. I'm going to put in my three cups of cold shortening. And get that cut in. And also when I make pot pies, I use thyme and I skip all the seasoning in there, just the salt, the thyme, uh, and I do white cheddar. But you can really flavor your pie crust for a savory dish any way you want. You know, if you like rosemary, um, that would be good in a crust, a nice rosemary crust. If you like more garlic, You're making an Italian style something if you wanted to put Italian herbs. Um, you could do fresh, you could do dried. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, so that is cut in. And put that over here. I am going to crack another egg in here. And the eggs I actually have room temperature, just because they mix up and break apart a little bit easier when they're room temperature. Everything else in here is cold. You can even keep your um, flour in the freezer. When I'm doing holiday baking, four pies on Thanksgiving, I keep my, <laughs> my flour in the freezer and I pull it out really cold along with my shortening, you know, I keep that in the fridge all the time because I pretty much only use it for pie crust and biscuits. Any other shortening I keep in the cupboard for other uses. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. I'm now going to put my cheese in. This is ch grated cheddar, and it's about um, one and three quarters cup. I'm going to put that in. And then my ice water, which is, my ice is all melted. <laughs> So we are going to stir all these together. 
I like my crust really cheesy. A little bit more water. Okay, and that is together. Now, keep in mind, the more water you put in your pie crust, the more it's probably gonna puff up, so make sure you dock it before you use it. But the cheese in the pie crust makes it even more crispy. It's so good. And with the leftover pie crust, here's in my mouth. Um, I'm going to show you what I do with the leftover edges of the pie crust. All right. Nice disc. This is going in the refrigerator and I'll see you in 30 minutes. We are going to finish up our pie crust. So I have my first pie crust right here. This is the one with no cheese. Just gonna put it on my floured surface. This is probably way too much flour. So I'm gonna move some off to the side. I'm rolling out this whole thing and it actually will make two pie crusts. I'm, I only need it for one. Oops. Oops. So what I'm going to do is roll it out extra big and then I'll cut the edges off and then I'm just going to make crackers out of the edges. Very carefully, we need to pick our pie crust up. I didn't want it too floury, and this is a wet crust, so you have to be very careful. At this point, you can do whatever design for the crust you'd like to do. I'm just going to go around and cut all of this off. And move these over here. And I'm going to bring this inside because I know that my, um, this is a deep dish pie crust, but my tomato pie filling isn't going to be quite as deep, so. At this point, you can put this in the fridge and chill it one more time before you use it. But I'm going to dock this entire thing. I'm not going to blind bake it. This is just going to be a pie that we're going to eat at home here. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into my preheated 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. The cheesy pie crust is going to have a little bit more volume because it has cheese in it. So I'm going to cut this in half. And 
this one is a little bit stickier of a dough, so. I might need a little bit more flour. Now this cheesy dough is particularly good heats. Don't waste it. Okay, so this one, I think I'm just gonna bend slightly here. You can do your pie crust any old way you want. If you wanna leave it flat and do the fork design, or just leave it flat, rustic. And this is going to go into the oven at 425 for 15 minutes as well. Leftover pie crust. I just take all these leftover pieces. thing we're going to do to finish our little crackers is an egg wash. And I put this egg wash on all of them. And this is just one egg beaten with a tiny bit of water. You can beat it with heavy cream if you like. You can just dust them with heavy cream if you like. Or melted butter. I like the egg wash because it gets it really golden brown. Once that is done, we're going to take just a little bit of sea salt and I'm going to sprinkle sea salt a little bit on each one of these. I'm just going to do this. Just make sure you get them all. And then I'm going to leave my, um, actually no, I'm going to put a little bit of Parmesan on all of these, even the cheddar ones, just because I like Parmesan. And this is just regular old grated, grated Parmesan. If you want to grate fresh Parmesan on it, that would be even better. I do have some, but you know what? I'm going to put it in my um, pie that I'm making, so. All right, I'm going to stick this in the oven at the 425 and just till they get golden. These will bake up super quick, so keep your eye on them. You're literally only going to keep them in there for five, six minutes maybe. Here's our leftover pie crust, turned into these beautiful cheesy crackers, and they are so good. I may have already had one or two. <laughs> and that is my pie crust video. Um, I have another video coming up right after this. I'll link the two, but this one is going to, going to be turned into tomato pie. So, I'm not going to show you the finished baked crust because I'm not going to bake it all the way. It's just a, a par bake. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.